mighty man of war, Lion of Judah. Father, we bow down and worship you. You are Yahweh, God, you are Yahweh. Father, come and do what only. Father, we bow down and worship you. But you are Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. Father, come and do what only
worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for your goodness, for your mercy. Thank you for loving us, Lord, my God, with unconditional love. Thank you, great Jehovah, for choosing us. Choosing us, Lord, before the foundation of the earth. You predestinated us, Lord, for adoption. So that we ultimately become your sons, your daughters, whom you love. The Bible says this was in accordance with your good pleasure, plan, and will. The Bible says at the proper time, at the center, set time. You then send Jesus to come and be born by a woman under the law. My God, in order to redeem and deliver those who were in bondage because of violating your law. So that, Father, you bring us under a new order of mercy, under grace. Thank you so much, Almighty God. We give you praise for the gift of our salvation. People of God, thank God for your salvation if you are saved. Open your mouth, join me. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. After all, we are told to enter his gates with thanksgiving. And the first thing we must thank him for is the gift of our salvation through his unmerited favor. Thank you so much, my God. Thank you so much, Adonai. Choir people, thank God for your salvation. What qualifies you to sing praises and worship is the mercy of salvation. We accepted before God today as his children 
because the blood of Jesus purchased us for God, delivered us from our sins, and qualified us to become sons and daughters of Jehovah. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We'll never be able to thank you enough. Lord, I pray that even this day, by the Holy Spirit influence us, by the Holy Spirit channel us to your will and purpose. Continue to drive our lives to that which is your will and purpose for each and every one of us. In the name of Jesus. Father, we are the church of Jesus Christ. We are the family of God. We are your design. You are the one who said, upon this rock, I will build my church. Father, I bring everyone under the influence and the control of the Holy Spirit. Speak to each and every person at the level of their understanding. Use me to speak your holy oracles, to unpack your word, to speak your heart, to speak your mind. May they hear God through the voice of a man. May they never hear me but you through my lips of clay. Father, I declare that Jesus Christ is Lord in this gathering. Have preeminence, Lord. Have your way. Jesus, have your way. Everyone pray and say, Lord, continue to have your way in my life. Continue to achieve your will and your purpose. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Savior, we praise you. We worship you. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verse number 38. The roadmap to true salvation. Um, that will ya result in you receiving the Holy Spirit. Um, ya ya and I assure you, this is a lecture. Get ready to write. It's very important that you pay attention to this. This is the roadmap, the Lona. step by step. That will lead to you becoming a fully, truly born again Christian. It will be a revival to those who are already born. It will be an empowerment to those who are preachers. Because we have to preach the gospel. Gospel is thoroughly connecting everyone with the Savior Jesus. Let's read 1, 2, 3, go. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said to them, Repent. Let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission or the removal of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 39. 39. Quick place. For the promise is to you or for you and to your children and to all who are far away in other nations so to speak this is a universal global vision of Jehovah as many as the Lord will call so, I want to help you to really understand so that out of what you will understand, you can also help those that are close to you find salvation. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. The vision of Jehovah. The dream of Papa God is that every human being on planet earth must find salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Must be restored back to a relationship with their creator who is God. Please pay attention. This is foundational preaching and teaching is not is not motivation. It's a Christian class. So God wants every human being to be saved, number one. This is revealed in the book of First Timothy chapter 2. 
Verse 1 to 4. Verse 1 to 4. It says, first and foremost, let prayers and accession, supplication and thanksgiving be made for all people. And especially to those in authority. And then verse 3 tells us something. Let's look at verse 3. It's already there. It says, this is good and pleases God our Savior. That we all keep on praying and desiring that people may connect with God their So in chances us don't necessarily pray for the church's problems, no. They pray for the salvation of every sinner in the community. Look at verse 4, my key verse that I came for to this particular portion God wants all people to be. I didn't hear you. Let's all say it. God wants all, some, all people to be saved and to what? And to come to a knowledge of the truth. Two things are revealed there. He wants them to be saved from their sins. Delivered from living sinful lives. Delivered from living lives that are disconnected from God their creator. To be saved is to be restored. Write it down. It is to be fully restored into a relationship with your creator. A Michael to be saved is not to be a church member. Church membership is not salvation. Mm-hmm. Salvation is restoration into a relationship with the one who made you. Mm-hmm. So God every day his heartbeat is he has a message. Oh let more and more be saved. Let more and more and come, come back into a relationship with me there. Then it says he wants them to come to the knowledge of the truth. What is that apostle? It means everyone must know the standard of living that God has set for every human being. The standard, the standard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in this church we must help all to be saved. If I continue sweating and preaching every Sunday and let some people continue to keep on coming without finding salvation. That's a very, very serious, you know, uh, 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 mistake that I would be committing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So last week I explained to you what is to be saved. To equip those who are pastors and to revive those who are Christians and help those who are not born again. This is what to be saved means. Let's go back to Acts 2.38. Because salvation is a product of another something. Salvation is produced by the act of repentance. Repentance is the bedrock for true salvation. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, did you repent? (laughs) <laughs> Hallelujah. Repentance is what is the bedrock. You can't have a solid Christian life if you never experience repentance. Let's go for the sake of time. What is repentance? Repentance is a two action word. This is a revision, but some people were not here last Sunday. Repentance is a two action word. Write it down. It means a formal, heartfelt decision to surrender your life 
to God. A full, truthful decision that now I want to take my life and submit it to the one who created it. Because sin made people to live lives that are without God and they thought they never need God. That's why repentance became necessary. So repentance is a decision that a person makes soberly, voluntarily, that I want to now commit my life to God. Number two, sin on repentance. It is a resolution that I will stop living a sinful life. If your repentance does not have these two components, it could be you are just joining a church. Or you are just choosing a place where you just go every Sunday. Because there's free transport. Hello. Amen. If God can help you and me and all of us here, to have a revelation of just repentance. We are going far. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. So, now that we understand what repentance is, repentance now takes you to the other processes. I wanted to write them down. So, number one, I'm now giving you the steps as I promise. The step by step action that you must make sure have happened to you, you've taken, or you are going to take. Number one, make sure that you have officially submitted your life to God, your Creator. Because the prosperity and the breakthroughs you want are connected to that action. It is the beginning of the restoration to a good life. A blessed, blessed life. Job 22, 21. Put that verse under that number one. Job 22, 21, it says, submit yourself to God in the NIV. Submit yourself to God. And be at peace with him. Because things cannot go all right in your life. If the one who made you is complaining about you. If he's not happy about how you are processing and living your life. So where does it start, Pastor? Submit to God. The Bible says in James 4.10, humble yourself before him. Then he will start lifting you up. If you are prospering as, as we speak, it's like things are going okay, Pastor. This salvation thing must wait. I have a good job. I have a good salary. I have a family. I have the things I want. You are an accident waiting to happen. Because the Bible says the person who is disconnected from God, you rise only to ultimately later fall again. Because misfortune follow those who have not connected with Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Am I helping you so far? Amen. Step number two. You need to officially and formally accept Jesus. Because he's the official connector. 
of the fallen sinful human beings with the holy God of heaven. You need to ensure that that experience is literal to you. It happened. No one becomes a child of God or reconciled with God without Jesus mediating that process. Hallelujah. 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 In the book of 1 Timothy 2 5, the Bible says there's one mediator, one facilitator of the connection between men and, you and God. So, number two, accept Jesus. John 1 12. That's this verse for number two. It says, to all who did receive him, who is the him? Jesus. Those who believed in his name. See he gave them the right to become children of God. My statement has been qualified. You can't be a child of God without Jesus mediating the process. Why do you think the Bible says in John 14, 6, Jesus says, I'm the way? He was saying, I'm the bridge. You walk through me to connect with God. He says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. John 14, 6, no one comes to the Father. No one reconnects with God. Except through me. Except through me. So every woman in the house, every coco old lady, every cool old man, every father, every mother, every girl, every boy, all people must connect with Jesus to be restored back to a relationship with Jehovah their creator. My communication. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship center was created to populate that message. We worship center yatalelwa kutsi iwumbusakatelo womlayeto. Your breakthrough is already set as long as you will walk and follow these steps. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because according to Jehovah, First John 5:12 says, First John 5, 12, 14. Whoever has not accepted Jesus or he who has Jesus has life. What life? What is this? I told you it's Zoe. It means the original life that God and arrange for you to live. Life order with outcomes that was set by Jehovah. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Another amen. amen. A strong amen. amen. Just here now because of Revelation 3.20 Jesus says I stand at the door I'm knocking I'm standing knocking While Jesus is knocking The devil is not knocking he kicks the door, he enters. This one is busy knocking, I'm just entering so if you don't open for Jesus, the devil is inside without knocking. He imposes himself. He says, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him. Eat, eat, eat with that person. Oh, I like this. Eat with that person, that person, not What's everyone. In that in the one room. who has personally opened for no, me. No, no, no. What will Jesus eat will do? He will come with the good life that we have always desired. He will give you good abilities and capacities to live your life the right way. Right there, let's pray. Lift up your right hand. Say, dear Lord Jesus, Jesus. the year is still new. The year is still in the early stage. 
nothing stops me from renewing my connection with you pray 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 lord jesus be the lord of my life be the savior of my life i welcome you into the space of my life jesus christ i connect my life connect my destiny with you my savior jesus i want to belong to you officially from this day and for the rest of my life dear lord jesus i renew my devotion to you and with you dear lord jesus i open up myself for you to come and take charge pray 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 with all your heart please the bible says a person confesses with his mouth or her mouth believes with the heart that god raised jesus from the dead it says when you confess and believe you are saved pray 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 with all your heart don't pray like uh, you are just doing it you know to please apostle just it's got nothing to do with me it's got everything to do with your 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 destiny i surrender oh lord i surrender oh oh to Jesus, my blessed Savior, I surrender. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul. I want to live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away, Lord, have your way, Lord, have your way in me. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I resolve here and now that I want to be a different human being because I am connected to you Savior of the world dear Lord Jesus from the depths of my heart I open my life for you to come and rule to come and guide to come and be my Savior all the days of my life dear Lord Jesus let nothing and let let no one separate me from you, my Savior. Salvation is found in no other except you, Jesus. That's why I surrender. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. You are mine, and I am yours. Dear Jesus, I should tell you all that I love. Oh yes, you are mine. You are mine. And I am Dear Jesus, I should tell you. Tell him everyone. Oh yes, you Not for me, it's for Jesus. Oh my God, you are my dear Jesus. I should tell you that I love you. Oh, yes, you are mine. You are mine. Jesus, I should tell you 
Clap for him if you are clapping for Jesus. Clap even louder if you are clapping for your Savior. I said clap even louder if you are clapping for the one who died for you and rose again. If you are clapping for your Savior, clap even louder. He's worthy. Jesus, we celebrate you. Where would we be without you? Oh. La praha shataka masas. Why why are we doing all this? Sigwendela and go kedo. Moving forward together. Siya pampili ganyigani. Hallelujah. Our gathering every Sunday must align to purpose. Otherwise, God will turn his back on us if he's not happy about the quality of the assembly. He will refuse to heal. Hallelujah. Number three step. Are you still there? So one, you officially submitted your life to your creator. Two, you've officially accepted Jesus. Everything is in the scripture. Three, now, you now repent. Yes, because repentance is a serious matter. The repenting I'm talking about here is the, the aspect of now resolving to turn from sin. Acts chapter 3 verse 19. X319. <laughs> oh my God. Let's read it together. Repent. Now, for your own information, this writing, or this, preaching, this is Peter preaching to people who are going to the synagogues every day. Every but their lives were not in accordance to God's standard. If I don't let my life to align to God's standard, listen to me quietly. Listen to me. If I don't work towards allowing my life to align to God's standard, there are certain breakthroughs that will refuse to happen no matter who prays for me. You'll cry for a promotion that will refuse to happen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God blesses and helps those. He elevates those who are fully submitted to Him and to His standard, the Word. Say, preach, pastor. So it says, repent therefore. We've already explained that. But the part that many Christians don't pay attention to is the word after end. It says, repent and be converted. Repenting, it's a resolution. Conversion is a process. So the moment you say, I want to stop sinning, or I want to stop living the sinful life, you must now officially subject yourself to the process of being changed. Which means from the day you resolve to repent, you monitor your behavior. Hey! Because if you don't monitor your behavior, you will just be an actor in a religious operation. It says repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. It's how Peter was preaching. But what the message he was conveying, he was saying, it is you're allowing yourself to be converted from following sinful behaviors that will lead your 
ultimate transformation and promotion. <laughs> Say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it means if I justice, <laughs> I'm not progressively changing, allowing the Holy Spirit to change me. I still continue to do the sinful things while I'm already you know, a, a fully fledged Christian. There are certain favors and backups of God that you lose. Because sin blocks God's intervention in your situation. Mm. Say preach pastor. Isaiah 55 6, the one we use in crusades. Isaiah 55. <laughs> I was explaining last week. Some of you were excited when I tell you that I used to drink. Because I'm a real Christian. I've got a you can trace me where, where this whole thing started. Because in, in church we've got many Christians. They just mushroom. Fully fleshed, they are Adam Christians. Christian Adam appeared as a full man, complete. Adam, what Say to your neighbor, I hope you are not an Adam Christian. Adam Christian is a person who's not traceable. Did you really connect with Jesus? Is God really your father? Do you strive to live according to His standards? Do you know what Christianity is about? No, ma mafu. No, ma you just appear. You also. Had the, the church uniform. Say, oh Lord, help me. Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. I want us to read it in the CEV. Hey. Uh, CEV. Hey. One, two, three, go. Turn to the Lord. Can you see? We are born again. He can still be found. Who's Call that? out to God while he is still what? Near. Yeah. So we've done that part, right? Let's go to verse 7. See verse 7. <laughs> Give up! La casa. That's where many never reach. They do the tending to God. Every Sunday. My soul say yes. But yes to God and yes to sinful ways. Look at it. Give up your crooked ways. And your evil thoughts. Return to the Lord your God. It means begin to live your life the God's standard way. And run yourself in this new process of living. He will be merciful. He will forgive your sins. Read it in the New Living Translation. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thought of doing wrong. It, must, it means all the write the statement down. The moment you have accepted Jesus, the moment you have repented, you create what is called a hit list. You know they were talking about a hit list of late years. You also create your hit list. What is your hit list? You start itemizing the habits that are exclusive to you which are sinful. So you write down gossip I'm after you I will kill you I will shoot you down <laughs> alcohol drinking you are my target I will shoot you down <laughs> fornication and loving sex with wrong people who are not legally married to me I will shoot you down <laughs> refusal to go to church on Sunday I will shoot you down <laughs> that hit list you keep it all the time so that you can Measure progress. Because you can be a fully. Ah, this one. My God. 
Holy Spirit, have mess with me. You can be a fully backslidden Christian singing in the choir. You can be a fully, 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 fully. You used to smoke, you stopped. But, why because, you up, but because you now have a position in the choir, you, you don't want people to be amazed why you are stopping singing. So you now smoke in the background. It's possible. People fully backslide. I mean, fully flesh backsliders. They, they are holding their positions in church. Amen. If you can discover what they do during the week, you can discover what they do during the week. We fellowship with this guy in church. My God, hallelujah. Are we in the house? Say moving forward together. Say moving forward together. So you can't now because you've made a new resolution. A large crowd came to John to be baptized. When John saw the long line, he said, no, 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 no. I'm not baptizing you here. He said, I need to see signs. That prove genuine repentance. No. No. The, the man man got out of the water. No, John got out of the water. Repentance. Number four. That's the last one. As I'm sharing this thing, especially number three. Genuine conversion. You cannot be a Christian who is still angry because of some bad thing someone did to you three years ago. I mean, you even pride in yourself. Three years late. No, it's not allowed. You have episodes where you run away to have sex with your secret lover. Can you imagine? Oh, tell them, can you imagine? Eh, say a whole not even a quarter Christian. A whole Christian. Use your hands like this. A whole, a whole Christian. Jesus. Number what? Four. Be baptized in water. I'm putting it in steps form so that people understand when, when you, you claim to have been truly saved, you know, oh, these are all these processes, all these things happen to me. You, you must, must be baptized in water. Acts 2.38, because they're being baptized in water. Even Jesus did it. It is the only act or ritual that qualifies our physical bodies to become official residences of the Holy Spirit. Are you, are you it says, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the Holy Spirit. You must be baptized. We must take your body and immense it. Because the word, the word baptize in the Greek it's baptizo. It means to immense completely. They just took a cup or a bowl and they sprinkled it on your forehead. You are never baptized. You were water sprinkled. There's a difference. Amen. Hello, ask your neighbor, baptized or water sprinkled? Hallelujah. 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 And the only people who qualify to be baptized are those who have genuinely repented. Oh, 
And we don't mind. Me, I'm one of those preachers who do, I don't mind. <laughs> you can come to me and say, Pastor, you've been seeing me for the past three years. I was never baptized. I will say, thank you very much for coming out. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So you must be baptized <laughs> in water. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew 3.15 that Jesus came. I want you to hear the reason now. Matthew Let's go there quick. Look at it there. Let's start from verse 13 let's so that we flow. Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be what? Who is this? Who is this? Jesus. The sinless son of God who never had a girlfriend. <laughs> he submitted himself, never drank alcohol. Never stole from anyone. What did he do? When then John came to subjected himself to what? To be baptized by who? By John. Next verse quickly. And John tried to prevent him saying, I need to be baptized by you and you are coming to me. And John, was, John was correct in his assertion because he knew who Jesus was. But there was a requirement. Let's go to the next verse. And Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. It's Baptism is what? Is a requirement. After John took Jesus, pushed him into the water. There's a revelation for you. Don't miss this. When he, Jesus came out of the water, the heavens opened. A voice was heard. This is my beloved son. Everyone born of a man and a woman. You officially become God's child. Officially. After you fulfill this requirement. God knows for sure that now he is. The moment you subject yourself to baptism. If maybe you were baptized many years ago, and in the years since you were baptized, <laughs> the chaotic life you've been living, if we can project a film of your life, we can run away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because another reason for doing it is so that people can get a clean new conscience. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 After you are baptized, heaven now knows that you are fully qualified and eligible to become indwelled to occupied by the Holy Spirit. There are people that Holy Spirit is afraid to enter. Once we enter into this one, he will go and drink alcohol. I'm telling us. you the truth. There are people, Holy Spirit, when he wants to enter, is afraid. You will enter this woman. She will just go with you to his boyfriend. Is the Holy Ghost not, not afraid of you? Is the Holy Spirit not afraid? I mean, there are people when the Holy Spirit thinks of occupying them, he says, Hey, thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands, let's pray. I'm done. Lembra hashataka Messiah. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every
every moment of my way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way in me. Open them up and pray. Lando Castalia Basaka. Lembra Capazete Bayana. Lambra Capazete Bayana. Yes, If you are a Christian, pray for successful conversion. That the Lord would successfully transform you so that you are changed into a different person. Those who know you will say, Oh, this is God's power at work. So and so is like this now. Ah, this is God's power at work. Pray. The Bible told us that if you fully submit yourself to the ordinances of God, Job 22 21 in the NIV, if you fully submit yourself to God and His ordinances, prosperity will begin to happen for you. Pray. Say, Lord, forgive me if I was not fully submitted. Forgive me, Lord, for every waywardness in my conduct. Forgive me, Lord, for the things that are wrong that I was continuously doing. I'm aligning myself to your standard. I'm putting myself on the highway. The highway to heaven. Pray, 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 pray. Zanta la makatabaya. Zita linda kumasaya makatabaya. Lepra hashanda. Everyone pray. Jesus, 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 pray. La pra kapazete bayanda. Lembru kapazete babayanda masa. Pray, 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 pray. Lembru hashende kamasiya makata. Pray, 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 pray. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, may I be continuously transformed from glory to glory, from glory to glory, from glory to glory. Lord, I don't want to be a Christian who's not fully aligned to the Christ standard. Help me, oh Lord, I pray. Even those joining us, pray, 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 pray. Lambra hashanda kamasaya makata. Lepro hashinda kamasaya. U shepe katali masaya makata. Lambro kapazete bayanda. Say, Father God, continue to change me. Say, Father God, continue to transform me. I surrender to you. I surrender to your will. I surrender to your ordinances. I surrender my God to your word. As per Job 22, 21 to 23, I submit my life to you fully and sincerely. Lord my God, be the director of my life. Make me everything that you want me to be. And by your mercy, Lord, grant me the prosperity that is prepared for all those who are children of God. Amen.